A retiring justice of the Court of Appeal, Justice Oladot Oludotu Adefokwe Okoje, has condemned the slow pace of justice delivery in the country. Uh, justice Okoje spoke today at the valedictory court session organized by the Court of Appeal to mark her retirement from the bench, the event held at the Court of Appeal premises on Lagos Island. The governor of her state, Governor Dakwabiono, other representatives of the executives, retired and serving judges, senior advocates, other lawyers, family and friends were all on ground to honour the retiring justice. The justice who spent 27 years on the bench says that it is unacceptable the length of time cases spend in our courts, suggesting that the judiciary should embrace arbitration to speed up justice delivery. My passion both at the bar and on the bench has always been to write injustice and correct as much as possible the ills in society. It has also been to protect the individual against oppression and against the coercive might of the government or any authority. For this reason, it is a pain in my heart when I see a deserving litigant turned away from the seat of justice for any reason or any technicality. I pray that there should be a change in our courts where judgments are given or cases lost not on technical grounds, but with recourse to the justice of the matter and the hearing on the merits. Now, I cannot end my address without expressing my pains and that of the general public on the pace of justice delivery in the court. If the truth be told, our pace of justice delivery is in total paralysis. We can no longer hide our heads in the sand like an ostrich whose hind parts are exposed it is not acceptable that a case already takes more than five years to conclude a trial, more than three years minimum in the Court of Appeal, and averagely about 12 years in the Supreme Court, given a conservative figure. A country that seeks foreign investment must get its court system functional, accelerated, and receptive to the needs of the people, both domestic and international. No nation wants to invest in a country where judicial disputes take forever to conclude or at all. I thus make the following suggestions. One, as most international companies, including domestic ones, have arbitration clauses in their contracts, in order to avoid the legal system and determine disputes expeditiously, the courts must thus encourage arbitration rather than consider it as a challenge to their authority. All cases and appeals also in respect of arbitration should be put on the fast track list for speedy resolution.